Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, I'm really sorry this is going up so late. Today's been kind of a crazy day for me. Um, I, yeah, I kind of just got a crazy haircut in the shower. So, um, I'm glad it's still wet while I'm making this so you guys don't think that I'm really weird. It does kind of look weird already though. Um, anyways, the topic is, um, lying, like how to deal with lying. Um, so, I really don't tolerate lying. Um, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's just like, to me, it's like a sign of weakness and like a sign of fear. And I feel like if someone has done something or has said something or whatever, like, they need to own up to it and not lie about it. Like, if you did it, then, and you're like with someone that you trust, then you should just be able to tell them, like, even if, I mean, I know there are, like, weird situations where obviously that's not always, like, as easily done as it is to just say to do that, but I, I, lying really bothers me, um, especially because, like, it, just like Brit said, like, you really are cheating yourself and cheating the person that you're with, and it's unacceptable, so... Yeah, I think, though, um, that if you find out that whoever you're with is lying to you, like, no, it's just, it's, like, I don't think it's, like, a cut and dry, just, like, we're never talking again, but, I mean, like, talk to them, ask what they were afraid of, like, why were they afraid to tell you, it might be that they're, I don't know, maybe don't trust you 100% yet, or they don't feel, like, 100% comfortable with you yet, and if you just have that talk with them and say, like, no, you know, you just need to tell me whatever you tell me, like, I'll accept you, and I, you know, blah, 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 then that helps, and I definitely think that just because someone lies once doesn't mean that they're always going to lie forever, especially if the relationship is new, um, but as far as, like, cheating goes, like, if you're talking about lying like that, um, I, I've never been cheated on, and I've never cheated on anyone, but I at least sort of think, I think that you, once you cheat, like, you are never really able to be trusted again. I don't know. I mean, that could be really judgmental, but at least that's kind of what I think. Um, I don't know. Cheating is a whole different story. Like, you... If someone's cheating on you, like, just because they tell you they won't do it again, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. And how you deal with that, I mean, it's like your own situation. You have to deal with it however you feel comfortable, but at least for me, that would sort of be like a game over type thing. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. Um, and then the topic, or the question is, um, oh, someone you looked to for inspiration. So I'm going to go right now within my life, like people up at school, um, my biggest inspiration is my rugby team and just like the heart that they put into like on and off the field, just into life. Like a lot of them have crazy things that are going on and they're really busy and they've been injured or whatever, tons of drawbacks and they still find a way to come out and play and a lot of the time you don't even know what they have going on in their life and they're still able to come out and play their heart out and I just, yeah, I love my rugby team, I love my coaches, they work full time and they still find time to sometimes get out of work early and come out and deal with teaching a bunch of crazy college kids how to play a sport that a lot of us have never played before and they're really patient and they really care about our success and they are always there for us and it's really really nice to have that so I definitely look to all of them for inspiration they all have their like little personalities and they're like different things that they're so amazing at and it's really just awesome to watch them and try to be like them and try to do them justice and play hard for them and everything so, yeah, that's, rugby team is my inspiration right now. Um, I think that's it for this week, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I'm, like, a little scattered today. I feel like I'm stuttering over my words a little bit, but I'm just in a really big hurry right now and just got out of the shower, obviously. So I'm sorry, and I'm sorry this is up late, but I will see you guys next week, and have an awesome week, guys.